Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to talk about ultra mobile computers. Also known as netbooks, these small, relatively low cost devices are transforming mobile computing. They've also been the most significant area of computer hardware development in 2008. Ultramobile computers started to go mainstream in November 2007 with the launch of the EPC range from Asus. Alongside the E, a wide variety of models are now available, including the Acer Aspire 1, the HP Mini Note, and the Dell Mini 9, with prices starting at under £200. All models are significantly smaller than a typical laptop. They are also far lighter, usually weighing in at around a kilogram. While small in size, ultramobile computers still manage to have usable keyboards. Most also now have a screen about 9 inches in diagonal, and which allows them to display a web page at full width. Whilst no space is available for an optical drive, all ultramobiles have built-in memory card readers, along with three USB ports and a VGA socket. Wi-Fi wireless networking is also standard. Most ultramobiles launched since mid-2008 use a new mobile processor from Intel called the Atom. This generally runs at 1.6 GHz and is designed to be highly power efficient. Indeed, this has resulted in some ultramobiles now having a battery life of 6 to 8 hours. The majority of ultramobiles have solid state storage rather than a spinning hard disk. Whilst this leaves some models with relatively limited disk capacity, it also makes them far more robust with no risk of data loss due to the inevitable thumps and vibration associated with mobile use. Whilst many ultramobiles happily run Windows XP, others come with a version of a Linux open source operating system. This is highly suited to ultramobile hardware and can provide a very straightforward user interface that can boot up in around 20 seconds. All Linux-based ultramobiles come installed with the Firefox web browser and the Microsoft Office compatible OpenOffice. They are also ready to access a wide variety of online media content straight out of the box. Ultramobile computers will increasingly allow convenient access to web-based computing resources, as discussed in my Explaining Cloud Computing video. Over time, the weight and thickness of ultramobiles will decrease, whilst battery life and storage capacity will rise. This said, other specifications are now likely to remain fairly constant, as a 9-inch screen and an 80% full-size keyboard will continue to offer most people the best trade-off between usability and portability. For more information on ultramobile computing, please see the mobile section of explainingcomputers.com. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon. Thank <laughs> you.